Hey, what's up you guys? You're watching Team APS, Paul here. And in today's video, as you guys can see, I'm gonna be showcasing my Cyber Angel deck. So this is a deck that I've actually been playing for a couple of weeks now and I've been really enjoying it. Um, a lot of people usually ask me what's a good deck idea to play in link format. And besides the obvious things that come to mind, I think this is actually a really good underrated pick. Uh, it's an all ritual monster based deck, so you don't have to worry about those pesky extra deck monster mechanics. And um, it's really cheap to build too. So before we hop in, I've got a couple of quick announcements. First of all, shout outs to Imperium Duelist for sending this incredible new two player full color printed cloth playmat. It looks and feels incredible. Um, I'm gonna be doing a full review on it here in a bit, so in the next couple of days. So you'll wanna be subscribed so you get to see that video. And speaking of subscribing, something that I kind of have neglected to tell you guys, if you're subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the bell icon that's next to the subscribe button. It'll make sure that you get a notification every single time we upload a new video as soon as it goes up. So sometimes, you know, people miss the new viz, but this is a great way to make sure that you don't miss a single one, being part of the notification squad per se. All right, back to the Cyber Angels. So, the Cyber Angels are an interesting type of deck. Uh, as we all know, Ritual Monsters aren't great, but Cyber Angels' take on improving them is that when they're tributed, they get other effects. So, similar to how Necroz were hand traps, Cyber Angels kind of circumvent that weakness by if you have to tribute one of these for another one, then it's okay because you'll recoup your losses. And the highlight of the deck is Cyber Angel Benton, which, when she's tributed, searches you any light fairy monster from your deck. That can be another Benton, that can be, you know, any other Cyber Angel, and that can be any other Light Fairy in your deck. It's incredibly useful. Uh, you'll usually want to be tributing her rather than summoning her. Her effect on field isn't particularly impressive, but she's level six, so she works perfectly for um, your Edaton and a couple of other cards we'll get to in a sec. Edaton, when it's tributed, gives all your ritual monsters a thousand attack and defense. That's a big deal because these guys aren't girls aren't very um big as it is but it's actually even more important with things like Harold becoming like 3800 defense and stuff so uh what's cool though is when Edaton is ritual summoned it searches a ritual spell from your deck to your hand so ideally you can actually tribute your Benton when you're summoning your Edaton and then Benton will search a fairy monster and then Edaton will search a ritual spell so it's a really fast way to set up your Harold plays then we have um, Cyber Angel Dakini and Cyber Angel Vrash, the two boss monsters. Dakini being a little bit easier to summon, it's level eight, so it'll usually take like, you know, a Ben 10 and then like a Cyber Petite Angel. Um, when when Dakini is summoned, it makes your opponent send a monster from their field to the grave. It's not destroyed, so that's really helpful. Also, it does piercing damage, but the most important thing I think is that during each of your end phases, you're able to add back a Machine Angel Ritual or one of your um, ritual monsters from your grave to your hand. So if you have this out alongside maybe a Herald of Perfection, it's a great way to recur your losses and get more discard fodder for negations. Then Cyber Angel of Rash, when she's summoned, destroys all of your opponent's extra deck monsters that they have out on the field and deals a thousand for each, which is kind of huge. In addition to that, uh, she'll get to do an additional attack per turn and she can negate cards that would destroy things on the field. So really pretty helpful. Uh, that's all for the Cyber Angels. Um, and then we've got Triple Herald of Perfection, which is kind of the... The other combo piece or, you know, big piece of this deck. Um, so Herald of Perfection lets you discard a fairy from your hand to negate a spell, trap, or monster effect that your opponent activates. This is a really big deal. You'll want to summon this thing in defense position and have a lot of fairies in your hand and just kind of stop your opponent from doing anything. But the key weaknesses here are that it can't actually negate summons. So if your opponent can just make like a large synchro, for example, they can actually swing over this. So you have to be careful. And um, you'll want to just protect it with everything you've got. And you want to have lots of fairies because it's easy to bait out its effects. So you want to be smart about this card. What's cool, though, is if you um, get the boost from Edaton, then it's like 3,800 defense and it becomes near impossible to actually swing over. So your opponent's going to have to find a different way to out it. <clears throat> Hope they don't have a kaiju. Uh, so... Then we've got Triple Manju, it's the searcher, and I guess I should go ahead and include Cyber Petite Angel. So Manju is kind of your just staple ritual searcher, but Cyber Petite Angel is effectively the same thing for this deck. I only run one of it because it's smaller, and you can actually reuse this with Ritual Sanctuary, which we'll get to in a bit. So what's cool is that these are all searchable by Benton, they're all fairies, that's really great. Um, and they can be discard fodder for Herald. Then we have the Star Seraph engine. It's Triple Scepter, which is the Stratos, and it can search, you know, Sovereignty. And uh, if you have them both in your hand, then you can do the full combo, which gets you a lot of advantage, a lot of draws, searches, summons. And you can make um, rank four monsters that take three materials, namely Centelonite Deltaros, but there's also like Evil Swarm, Ouroboros, and things like that. So these are cool, and of course they're fairies, so they're searchable too. 
Then we've got a couple of um, miscellaneous fairies. Honest can protect your monsters in battle, it gives them the attack boost, it's searchable as well. Artlord Christia, you can summon it when you have exactly four fairies in your grave, which is pretty easy to do, and it's searchable by Ben 10 as well. If you get this out alongside Herald of Perfection, your opponent basically is hopeless because they won't be able to special summon at all and they can't even summon a kaiju. So having this plus Herald is just usually GG's. And then um, Max C. I actually contemplated playing like Herald of Orange Light, but I just figured it's Max C. This card should probably be banned anyway, so I'll just play it until it is. Then we have our triple ritual sanctuary. So this is the centerpiece search card of the deck. It's kind of the Degronic diagram of sorts. You can discard a spell card and search any light ritual monster or a ritual spell from your deck to your hand. So that's everything in your deck. And uh, in addition to that, you can shuffle spell cards from your graveyard back into your deck to summon a fairy from your grave equal with a level equal to the number of spells you shuffled back in. And that is where, um, where is it? That's where Cyber Petite Angel comes in so much handy being only level two. Um, I would like to only run two copies of this card, but you do want to see it really early, and so for that reason, you're also running the two terraforming. What's unique about this, at least, is that um, you can discard Ritual Sanctuary for Ritual Sanctuary's effects, so it's never too bad if they clog. And if you open with like Ritual Sanctuary and terraforming, then you can use terraforming, search your second Ritual Sanctuary, use that to discard for the first and get your searches, and then you have two spells in your grave to immediately use if you need to bring back a Cyber Petite Angel. Then we've got triple preparation of rites, or pre-preparation of rites, and then one preparation of rites. Just ritual staples. Um, this is mainly just there, actually only there, to search um, Herald of Perfection and Dawn of the Herald, and this can search any of your Cyber Angels and recycle a spell if you need to. So, not a lot to say about them. Um, you'll want to use them, though, for like ritual sanctuary things. It's cool. And then we've got Machine Angel Ritual, which summons any of your Cyber Angels. Um, in addition to that, in the graveyard, you can banish it to protect one of your light fairy monsters. Actually, I think it's just a light monster from destruction, so it's kind of like a Return of the Dragon Lords-esque effect. Very helpful. Um, stops you from like, losing to things like Raigeki and cards like that. And then triple Dawn of the Herald to summon Herald. And when you summon Herald with Dawn of the Herald... <laughs> It's getting kind of redundant. Um, when you summon that, you can banish this card from your grave to get back one of the fairies that you use to summon Herald with. So ideally, what you'll be doing is using um, your Cyber Angel Benton to summon Herald of Perfection, and then Dawn will get back Benton, and Benton will also get its search, and so you've got plenty of fairies to discard, and it's all a fun time, except for your opponent. So yeah, that's great. And then I've only got two traps, Solemn Morning and Heavy Storm Duster. These could be any traps you want them to be. It's not really a big deal. I just went with warning. It, this could easily be strike or something else. And heavy storm duster because this deck doesn't always really have a lot of discard fodder, so it's not as great to use twin twisters. And I feel like when you resolve this while you have like a herald of perfection out, it's just especially demoralizing for your opponent because it's like a two for one, and that's really great. Anyway, that's going to be it for the deck profile. I'm not really including an extra deck because you don't need one except for Satellanite Deltaros. Um, it. You guys should know what that is. Um, you just have to have a copy of that. I didn't have one on hand. So it takes three materials, and you'll just be using it with your um, with your your these guys, Star Seraphs. So anyways, that's going to be it for the profile. I hope you guys liked it. Um, this is the build that I've been using. It's been showing me a lot of success. There are a couple of different ways that you can build this. Some people prefer to use, like, you know, Heratics, for example, or things like that. But it's really up to you. Hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Be sure to subscribe for more deck profiles and more duels. We've been doing a lot of them lately, so we are trying to deliver. Um, and be sure to hit the bell so you're notified. Uh, I think I've gone on long enough, so let me know what you think of Cyber Angels in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.